welcome my dear friends masters and gods and all the beautiful souls who are aligned to this great channel the pyramid meditation channel in english we take pleasure in continuing our spiritual wisdom magnificent spiritual wisdom offered by Harold Waldwin Percival from his book Thinking and Destiny As we all know this book is unique in many respects and one of the reasons the book has really been considered very important and as a bible of spirituality is because it contains all the wisdom that has not yet been made available by any other spiritual author no wonder our brahmashri patri ji who picked up this book almost 20 years back calls it a book of the century so patri ji who has read over 1 lakh spiritual books when he gives a comment it deserves all the attention and all our action by means of going in for this wisdom from this book and learning what best could be learned the unique quality of this book is it has taken almost 30 years to write this book and percival has gathered all the wisdom possible but it has not come out of any other spiritual masters or with any other organizations and all this has been done through messages which he has received from the astral masters thinking and destiny was not developed as speculation nor to repeat and synthesize the ideas of others it was written as a way for perceival to make known what he learned after being conscious of ultimate reality as to the source and authority for the book perceival clarifies that and that to in one of his notes that are the statements in thinking this and destiny given as a re- revelation from a deity or as a result of ecstatic states and visions or have they been received while in trance under control or other spiritual spiritualistic influence or have they been received and given as coming from some master of wisdom to all of this there is only one answer which he emphatically says as no then why and on what authority do i say they are true that is the next question the authority is in the reader he should judge as to the truth of the statements which herein by the truth that is in him the information is what he has been conscious of in his body independently of anything he has heard or read and of any instruction he has received from any source other than what is here in recorded and then put into black and white so it is so very clear about what the book is and the source from which the knowledge is received so this book represents a towering accomplishment in revealing the true state and potential of the human being so friends i am sk rajan vice chairman of the indian federation of spiritual scientists an organ of the pssm and i am accompanied by brahma vidwarishta girija rajan and purnima who is a tarot card reader and a past life therapist they would be offering their comments in the course of the reading from which we take the essential message conveyed by ramashri patri ji because he has culled out the messages from the book thinking and destiny so we pay our tribute to two great masters one is perceival for his wisdom and one is brahmashri patri ji for having selected this book to convey to us to give us this knowledge
today's topic is money and as we all know money is also considered as energy so let us see what perceval has to say on money and how as human beings here on this earth how we give the attention to it or the priority to it or whether it is linked to spirituality these are all matters which will, which will come in the course of the reading and we have to evolve from it off to the reading the subject of money and what is monetary value deserves special attention the possession and the lack of money create today the thousand and one conditions through which the ways of destiny lead independence servitude fatigue checks on development choice of associates power opportunity duty most of the innumerable predetermined aspects of life in the world are related to money everybody needs money it is proper that everybody should have some indeed one of the tests of a good government is that all people under it should have the opportunity to earn enough for food clothes and shelter beyond these needs some wants are justifiable according to the position a man holds in the world if one has no wife or children less is needed but the thoughts of man go beyond and demand not only what would be sufficient for their needs and reasonable wants they want money for luxury and display for power over others and some want money for money's sake however much they may have they still want more hello friends so percival here has uh, told us something about money so money is a material wealth that is uh, the uh, the thing which is i mean the whole world is running on money without money we couldn't have uh, done anything here so that is what he's uh, trying to say everything runs on money everyone uh, has, has to have a little bit Uh, at least up to the extent um, they can have or they can find themselves comfortable but uh, beyond that i think it is not required he will go on to say that in the coming paragraphs but here he says um, how much ever one has has they they are not contented with it they want to go on for acquiring more and more uh, of uh, material wealth which will actually lead them again to uh, again to uh, ignorance and again to that uh, complete uh, kind of uh, um, uh, complete uh, what do you call darkness or whatever you might call it they might not find themselves more conscious the do a path gets uh, totally involved in the material world so they'll not be able to get that liberation and that is what i would like to um i inferred from this uh, paragraph yeah this is uh, really an interesting subject because everyone wants to know what this great magic uh, wand that is called as uh, money because definitely the material world is based on the uh, system called monetary system is yes, definitely because we need it in our day day to day life yes even a spiritual person who practices spirituality needs money he may not have a, a, a rupee in his pocket but he needs others help because to run the daily life is yes, we do need it so we have formed this system in such a way that uh, a, a person who has enough money can have the basic Uh, necessities of life food shelter and clothing these are very basic yeah the government should be in such a way that it sees it sees to it that all the persons all the citizens of that nation they do have this primary necessities fulfilled so and but the man's uh, uh, thinking doesn't stop at that he wants more he wants more everyone wants more more than what he has got uh, in hand 
nobody is satisfied there the spiritual person and the ordinary person who is not spiritual who is more material there the difference comes the spiritual person is satisfied today it is finished it's over tomorrow what what happens who knows so he, he leaves it like that so he is na- seldom uh, uh, affected by the term called money whereas the ordinary person is definitely he is uh, worried because he has to take care of his family the basic amenities are not uh, given to him so like that it goes on so uh, yeah definitely man needs money but uh, sometimes this money is a very uh, intriguing or what to say uh, 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 sort of a blurred uh, affair that it doesn't uh, give you the clarity uh, so for a material person because uh, we keep on uh, increasing our necessities uh, as we uh, happen to earn it and we earn to have the necessities we uh, for having the necessities we earn so it becomes a treadmill existence according to linda goodman we uh, most of a uh, 90% of the population of the world it is uh, the money place uh, makes the life as a treadmill existence we just go to work for the sake of uh, getting things to get things we go to work like that uh, we need the things for going to work like that it, it it is a treadmill you know for this you have to do that for to get that you have to do this like that it alternates and it makes us makes our life a treadmill existence here so what perceval comes to say is we should exactly understand what money is why is it needed how to come out of the term money so that we can live we can get more freedom as purnima has rightly said is a person finally has to have more freedom so for that freedom how to come out of the term money uh, of course we need money only up, up to the hands it must come we should not get into our heads that is what uh, i said by many masters they have said like that and we'll see more of what percival has to say about money often money after it has been acquired has little value it will not buy health honor self respect it cannot buy love nor life nor independence ease or knowledge true independence is what money should help to bring and little money is enough for that though independence varies with one's position and work in the world little money is needed to establish it cares troubles and intrigues surround those who desire more than enough money does not enlarge the range of independence happiness within and assurance without is what all men want but life never gives them the nearest approach is independence however modest it may be money is one of the smallest requirements the less one needs and the less he wants from the money god the more independent that one is so friends so beautifully he has put it so so there are so many things money cannot buy we cannot get honor respect or uh, self respect with uh, with money so nor health so all this is uh, uh, other than i mean uh, it is not bought by money so we have to understand the limitations of this uh, energy so we should have this energy to the optimum level um, man actually needs freedom and happiness and that is only got uh, through um, knowing more of ourselves and being more conscious of ourselves rather than money or material uh, material things so we have to have a um, line drawn as to where we have to uh, put a stop to getting and uh, uh, getting more money or we should uh, we should know our uh, the um, uh, we should actually know where to stop so that is what we have to learn from this para i feel uh, the message is we should know where to stop and uh, we should uh, use it wisely so that is what uh, perceval is trying to say here yeah definitely this term money is very uh, abstract and uh, we, we are unable to understand it and we are unable to handle it the 
population entire population uh, of the world uh, in that only few have come to know about money and how to handle it yeah, as uh, purnima has said it's not only enough to uh, enough if you earn lo loads of money but it is also the way in which we spend it the wisely spent money is always for the better so we should all know all these things uh, so uh, percival has put it very very beautifully that uh, all the things in life are not bought by money we know that so it's only certain things can be bought by money so it, uh, so it is not all powerful money is not all powerful as we think there are persons who are, who are what the least of money but the best of happiness so what man needs is inner happiness outer security so those uh, things are uh, really assured only by going within and taking to a spiritual path and spiritual practices definitely give us the assurance that we need from the outside world and the inner happiness as uh, i have i want to now i, re I remember the great author michael nemi who has written the uh, book of mirdad in that he has written that uh, the more we possess the less we are assessed in the other worlds so the, the less we possess here the more we are assessed and the more we possess the less we are assessed there so if you want to be assessed uh, in, in, in a higher way or assessed better then definitely our possessions here should be the least so uh, the minimum that we need so when we understand for what purpose we have come here and uh, without fulfilling that purpose we have to keep on com coming here uh, birth after birth and time will be spent unnecessarily so we, we should think of that look sit down be still and then think of all that why ever we have come here so we should put that purpose into uh, into action into uh, into the uh, into uh, take it into our lives and then fulfill the, that purpose for which we have come instead we get uh, entangled in some other things and uh, get uh, the time is lost so again we have to come back to learn so many things so it is better we finish off our syllabus first and know our purpose of life unless we turn our uh, attention on uh, spirituality this is not going to happen so now uh, at this uh, era at this age, uh, stage uh, a great master uh, has been sent by the heavenly uh, masters who are sent uh, sent us uh, this great master uh, brahmashri pitamahar patri ji here on to this earth to tell each and every one that enough is enough now it is time to turn to take to spiritual practices turn to spirituality as a goal in your lives so such an excellent master is here who teaches everything uh, so we will uh, we'll keep on hearing him and uh, rectify ourselves and lead a, an excellent life to our own satisfaction that doesn't mean that we should not have money we should not enjoy the luxury yes you can enjoy everything but uh, everything has got a limit but at the same time you should be spiritually evolved that is also spiritual evolution is also uh, a great uh, um, lesson that we have to take up that's a very great uh, purpose for which we have come over here so that should be in mind whatever life we did that the purpose should be very much uh, uh, in uh, concrete in our system and also we should be aware of it so if you live such a life is definitely the life will be more meaningful more contented more uh, helpful to others or uh, helpful in the way it will set an example for others so definitely it gives peace but, uh, le uh, less possessed possessed is more assessed in the astral worlds so the best example for this i would uh, say is um, i remembered uh, our ex president uh, dr apj abdul kalam he was uh, so very simple if we read about him and uh, no uh, get to know more about him he had very uh, limited uh, material possessions and he used to invest his time more on the intellectual part and uh, really i'm i was really wonderstruck when i got to know that he had very minimum uh, possessions of his own so that is what i would uh, i wanted to tell here so uh, really we remember him now and uh, really hail unto uh, dr apj abdul kalam friends i would like to supplement what these two speakers have told in the sense this para which we have just read has initially 
indicated that true independence is what money should help to bring and for this that much money is sufficient so we have to remember it is not need it is not important that we should accumulate more and more than what is actually required by us to exist on this earth it is enough if you are able to get the independence that you everyone aspires for so for which you don't need that much of money so if you are able to preserve your independence there is nothing more to it there is nothing more important than that so money cannot give you anything else even health depends upon your own karma so money cannot give you health money cannot give you self respect honor etc so it is enough if you are able to preserve our independence until our last breath so off to i go to the next para the money god is a powerful earth spirit created kept alive and given his power like other gods by the worship of the doer persons in human bodies under this great earth god are little money gods special deities for each of the worshipers each little money god in the heart and on the hearth is nourished by the worshiper and stands for the great god the individual gods pass the worship on to the composite great god this one in turn through the hierarchy aids his worshipers in obtaining money and avoiding losses in helping them into successful enterprises and lucrative positions or in keeping them out of financial disasters but this god cannot give health comfort or esteem nor love cheer or hope nor can it give protection in the end when destiny cannot be held back often a worshipper having obtained the money worships other gods and uses the money to gratify other desires which is wealth permits the money god is tolerant while he holds the first place in the heart but if the new worship such as that of voluptuousness drunkenness and ambition interferes he is a jealous god and revenges himself not only by the loss of money by the but by the loss of the things that the same money has bought so percival here says that um, there is a money god that all the people generally uh, worship and uh, um, under the g- great money god there are other uh, smaller gods he says uh, this money god is a nature spirit it's not the higher form of the triune self it is uh, uh, it is a small uh, uh, it is a, uh, compared to the triune self it's a, uh, a lesser in degree of consciousness or uh, i would say it is a, a nature spirit so that's what percival has also told so uh, people p- worship that uh, smaller gods and get uh, um, get the um, uh, things material abundance through uh, through the um, worship so and these smaller gods uh, uh, move on to give the uh, the greater money god the energy that the people are feeding so that is what percival is trying to say here so and uh, as in when they worship they all the material abundance is uh, bestowed upon these people and um, one other thing uh, percival has told here is here is uh, uh, he has told if we are uh, spending our time in uh, drinking and uh, uh, spending more of time in uh, unwanted unnecessary uh, activities then the money god will take a revenge and uh, uh, all the losses and uh, all the misfortunes will come upon that person who is uh, who takes to all these unnecessary uh, activities so that is what uh, percival is uh, making a point here so i think uh, i hope it's clear to you yeah this is a very excellent that there is a god uh, money god created by man uh, not anybody else the doer in the body creates this uh, money god for everything else also there are money gods and there are subdivisions in that section for uh, abundance in this area this department there is another smaller god 
for in another department there is another smaller god like that every department has got uh, regarding money there are several departments and uh, there are several gods to that so they are all fed by the man who worships them or the doer who worships so the worship is the food for that god so like that it goes on so until we realize that this is not this is only a creation that we have done a mental creation that is our imagination with the, along with nature we have created this god and the all all powerful almighty is somewhere else it is the triune self along with the light of intelligence that has created the entire thing and uh, all that we see the whole cosmos is is filled with that energy filled with that, that consciousness that is what we have to understand without that understanding we we'll keep on like this and uh, as punima has rightly said the money what it uh, does is this money if we earn earned in the wrong way or in more than what is needed in, in amounts which are more than what is needed by a person then it leads us to all other uh, uh, activities like uh, uh, drinking we uh, people take to drinking and other activities because that that is not at all good for them but the money is uh, driving them to do that that is what uh, another aspect of money of course money purchases all the material wealth material comforts but at the same time it can also lead drag a person into all this uh, what we call as vices so it is possible that a man gets uh, entangled in all these things then when once he goes uh, behind the vices and he is involved more in that activity then definitely the uh, the gods will not be happy with him they take away all the wealth and he will meet with losses and so many other things we have seen even in uh, pictures cinemas we have seen uh, the hero goes like that and gets involved in vices he will become a rich person and uh, gets involved in vices and thereby he loses everything his honor uh, is everything is lost so like that uh, of course again life will again uh, uh, bloom and it will teach him a lesson and then he will come back the, there is no doubt but the time is lost so so much of time is lost in all these things so beforehand if we know that we have to possess only what is needed by us that is what is essential so that all the people in the whole of the world will be able to uh, live comfort a uh, comfortable life if a person starts hoarding uh, what is due for others then that becomes a poison for himself that is what uh, uh, percival wants to say patriji goes on to uh, another uh, degree of explanation he has told that the money god which is uh, worshiped as lakshmi devi in our uh, in indian uh, uh, culture indian that is uh, in hindu religion that uh, that goddess is uh, not money actually what he says is that is only service so service to mankind is service to god so when we do service by way of so many service in many ways we can serve humanity so when uh, service comes first then money can be earned through that we definitely we learn so many friends that is the real earning so through service we get we earn friends and friends in turn definitely will help us at the time of uh, need then uh, there is no need to go behind run behind money so if we do service itself the earning is uh, already done so like that we have to lead a life full of service to others that we like either the is yes, the other person we service in the sense that we help others to help themselves we are not going to help them directly we will only uh, allow them to help themselves that is how or show the path to them that is the greatest service that we we have to do and that is the lakshmi god lakshmi devi we always think that it is full of uh, gold coins <laughs> full of wealth and all those things but not like currency notes no not at all like that this is uh, this is uh, definitely service that is behind the money that earns us money if uh, if ever a person is wealthy and rich in this dharma in this incarnation then it means that he has done so much of service in past lives the thought in the past life has given this destiny to him there is a very good destiny to enjoy wealth but again if he has to continue this he has to see that it is put to very wise use and use to others then definitely it will sustain all the time and never take to vices 
that is how it is uh, explained by percival percival has mentioned is uh, the money god cannot uh, if you worship the money god uh, it won't give you love respect um, hope or cheer so all these things are uh, definitely not we won't uh, get uh, that from this god is what uh, percival has told yeah yes definitely now i also remember one more point that is a uh, Uh, you cannot get your life extended because of money so if you tell somebody if, the, if you tell the doctor doctor i pay you 1 crore rupees a person on the death bed give me some uh, few months six months of life no it is not possible it is not possible to extend life at all but it is possible for a guru to extend the external guru with in conjunction with the internal guru that is our internal guru is our breath so breath is the life giving force energy we all know that so with that the two gurus will can only extend our lives nobody else no other energy or force or power is there to extend our lives at all so that is what uh, he again emphasizes so uh, it is now time for everyone to think over and uh, uh, put a full stop to take into middle path whenever money money comes the grand middle path that is suggested by our great Uh, Lord Buddha. So we have to consider all the points. Then lead such a life. We have to bring it to practice into our daily life. Then only it helps. So I uh, and uh, um, the external guru only shows the path. Doesn't actually come in uh, 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 shortening. I mean, uh, extending your life. He shows you the path, gives you the right books. as patriji has given us so that will lead us lead us to enlightenment and that extends our life if there is a purpose for us in this life the guru knows if i have to do suppose like in the case of a very great spiritual master lopsang rampa his ex- external guru dunda he extended his life because he he knew that lopsang rampa needed to write three more books that will enlighten so many people that will really clear so many doubts in the minds of people and definitely that will help people grow in spirituality so because of that his life was extended by his guru dundu outside guru will extend because the guru knows very well the purpose is not yet complete so let us give him some more time so that he completes the purpose that is how it is done so um, nothing else no other force not even money can purchase any crores of rupees you give you cannot extend it by even one minute our life here on this earth that is a very important uh, underlying uh, uh, aspect or a very go- great great truth that has been revealed by percival thanks to percival so friends we have considered a short note on what money is and how money is being acquired etc but this would not suffice and we will continue in the next episode all the aspects regarding money especially why man is born in poverty and why and what could be done to overcome the poverty and what are the real priorities in life at this moment i am reminded of what adi shankara said in his great epic great masterpiece bhajagovindam nitya anitya विवेक विचार दिस इज वॉट इज रिक्वाइड बाय द एवरेज ह्यूमन बीइंग यू हैव टू डू नित्य अनित्य मींस टेंपररी एंड परमानेंट विचार मींस थिंकिंग सो यू हैव टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन व्हाट इज वेल्थ टेंपररी एंड परमानेंट एंड व्हाट इज द प्रायोरिटी रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज विवेक विचार विवेक विचार मींस द हाईएस्ट ऑफ थिंकिंग your thinking should be in the highest level so that you are able to differentiate between what is temporary wealth and what is permanent wealth so what can stand you until the last breath that is permanent wealth even But after what and thereafter and and what goes away unpredicted and comes and goes comes and goes that is unpredictable so that is only temporary wealth but permanent wealth is all experience and knowledge these are the two great things which we have to gather when we are on this earth so we cannot afford to forget what adi shankara has said that is nitya anitya viveka vichara 
this is what we should go after and this is what it should be the ultimate uh, possessions that we have in while we are on this earth with these words i stop here with today's episode but we will continue the remaining portions of what wealth is and how it can be stored and what are our duties in regard to this money mystic and green energy which is nothing but money and wealth thank you thank you thank you thanks to konima and girja raja thank you